And how is everybody out there? So I know you saw the title and you're wondering, what is this warning, right? What is she talking about? Well, today we're going to talk about five things that you must absolutely avoid. Avoid doing unless you want to fail the NCLEX. Five things you must absolutely avoid doing unless you want to fail the NCLEX. All right. So today is So So Sunday. And on So So Sunday, I talk about things that help you to become a nurse. So, so, so Sunday means, so you want to be a nurse, so what? Well, here are five things that you must not do. You have to avoid doing in order to become a nurse. So just assuming that you have already um, completed your nursing school, you've graduated, and now you're ready to take the test, or maybe you've been struggling to take the NCLEX exam. Well, here are the five things. And these there's a numerous things, but these are five things that I see people struggle with or that they avoid um, they don't avoid doing. They 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 um, they don't tackle it. They don't address it right away. The number one thing is not understanding the NCLEX NGN test format. You must understand the format. You must understand the types of questions that you're going to see and the case studies, and you need to practice on those things. So if you don't have a clue on the NCLEX NGN test format, then you're setting yourself up up for failure. So don't not understand the NCLEX NGN format. Number two, self-evaluating during the test. When you're taking the NCLEX, you don't want to self-evaluate, meaning you don't want to think of, am I doing good? Am I doing bad? Because all you're going to do is increase your anxiety and you will not be able to focus on the exam. And you may even start rushing through the test. You don't want to do that when you're taking the NCLEX. You don't want to rush through it. You want to take your time and understand the case event and the query and make sure you're accurately using your process of elimination to answer the question correctly. So when you tutor with me or if you join the course that's coming up, I will teach you all those things. All right. Number three. Uh, the number three thing that you should absolutely avoid doing unless you want to fail the NCLEX is not managing your test anxiety and stress. So test anxiety can get the best of, of us, right? Many of us suffer with test anxiety. We get very nervous, we get worried. And if you allow it to overcome you, then you won't be able to fully focus on the test questions and answer correctly. But you can overcome it. You just have to deal with it head on. You have to recognize um, that you have test anxiety and you have to know how you are going to be able to reduce your test anxiety. So tackle it, you gotta master it. Um, now, some things that might help is just doing deep breathing exercises, some positive affirmations every day, telling yourself that you can do this, or you may even have to seek um, medical advice. And if you have to seek medical advice um, or you know, go to your healthcare provider and see if your test anxiety is at a level that you may need medication. Okay. Number four, the number four thing that you absolutely must avoid doing unless you want to fail the NCLEX is not making a study plan. All right. So if you're all over the place and you're just taking, just, you know, doing study questions and, and you're not, um, you're, you're not studying every day and you're just all over the place, then you're going to set yourself up for failure. So uh, there are exceptions to the rules. Some people can can just do questions and maybe they go on and they pass if they're straight out of school. But um, if you're really struggling to pass the NCLEX and you, you need to get this done, then one of the reasons that you may not be passing is not setting up a study plan. You need to be in your journal every day. Um, writing out what you're doing for the day to study. What are you going to do that week? What are you going to do the, that month? You need to have a study plan and you need to adhere to it. Number five, not studying consistently. If you're studying, again, sporadically and you're not staying consistent to that study plan, then you're going to set yourself up for failure. OK, so these are the five things, five things that you must absolutely avoid doing unless you want to fail the NCLEX. I hope these tips have helped. And you're probably thinking, well, how do I overcome this? Well, <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'm here for that. I'm gonna tell you um, a tip. So what you need to do, if you've been struggling with the NCLEX, then you will benefit from 
the online School of NCLEX review through the TNC Tutoring and Services. Yes, I'm going to guide you. I'm going to help you. And you're going to overcome all five of these things. You're going to understand the NCLEX exam. Um, you're going to learn how not to self-evaluate. You're going to master that. You're going to practice. Um, you're going to learn how not to rush through those questions. You're going to learn how to manage test anxiety and maybe what works for you. You're going to be able to verbalize something that you're going to do. You're going to learn how to um, make your study plan. In fact, we're going to already have a study plan for you and we're going to follow that study plan every week and every day. All right. And so you're going to come to class and you're going to stay consistent on studying. All right. So those are the five things. So if you're interested and if this is something you need to do to elevate your life, to elevate your career, to uh, move forward, it's going to change your life. You just need to pass that NCLEX exam. So many doors are going to open for you uh, once you get your nursing license. So this is going to be a plus for you. You're going to invest in yourself. This is it. This is what you need. So go ahead and look in the uh, comment, uh, maybe in the review here and see how to join the master class. You need to join the master class for the online school of NCLEX review. Now, classes for this coming quarter are going to start on March 18th. So your future self is going to thank yourself today for enrolling. You don't want to miss this class. We'll see you then.